If I tell you do like this, I'ma show my do like this. If I tell you do like that, I'ma show my take them to the left, oh. Oh, but we be that no copana. Overture international banana. Let me see what this. Hey y'all, it's Henny G, Henny G Don, come again. I'm here with another video for y'all today with Falaren. Y'all already seen her before, but it's okay, y'all can read it. Hi, it's Falaren and bitches underscore flow here. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, you say, you say, you say. I cannot, I cannot. Okay, so today me and Philan are doing a QA and a for y'all. I asked some of y'all to send me questions on advice or anything, and so far it looks like I've seen it like <laughs> But um, yeah, let's jump into this. So one of my close friend's brother has sparked an interest in me, and he's a cool dude and everything. I like him but he's going into the military and he's trying to get into a relationship, of course. We're starting out getting to know each other, but his sister found out and she wasn't happy about it. But then she was like, if he makes you happy, then I'll just have to deal with it. So it seems like the green light, but it still doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? So what should I do? I like him a lot, but I also value my friendship with her. Are you, are you friends with the sister? I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if she told you it was okay, then like you could really, you can. I really, I think that's the green light. Like, and if she was the one who lied to you and told you that it wasn't okay, like yeah, then, you can't help who you like sometimes. Honestly, you feel like it's gonna cause a conflict between you and your friend. Like, you can just sense. Like, I despite the fact that you really like him, there's plenty of other fish in this season. Let like, you know that. So, uh, if you feel like you really, really like him that much to the point where you would rest your friendship. I mean, you can go ahead and do. And you can really talk to your friend, like if she's if she's a reasonable person, like, and you really like him that much, she should understand that that should yeah, be y'all's friendship. Because obviously, you've known you, you and your friend have known each other longer than you've known her brother. So do what you gotta do. <laughs> what do you consider talking? I don't understand what the talking. Talk. Stage. I don't think talking stage is even necessary. Well, it, sometimes it is necessary. Talking is not. when he approaches you or you approach him and y'all talk. That is talking. Like, what is a talking okay, stage? Okay, no, I, no, no. Okay, talking, like, because now people think that talking is like... I know that's actually, what they think, but that's not a stage. It's, it's, it's like initial, like when you meet the person and then dating and then... Um, I mean, I guess you could say the talking stage is when you first meet the person, but that, the talking stage, I feel like, I don't believe in that, like, that's maybe, like, one week or something, like, when y'all, when you, when you're, that's why it's called dating, you're dating, you're getting to know someone, you know Okay, I mean? but the thing is, like, you know how some people say, like, oh, I date to marry, so, like, if they start dating, yeah. or if they're already in the dating stage before anything, you, and then they're, it's like, your okay. dating stage, then relationship, you when you're dating Oh when you're dating actually in a relationship No, that's what people don't understand. When you're dating, you're getting to know different people, you're getting to know what you like, da da da. You're oh, dating. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and then you enter talking. a relationship. A relationship lead that leads to marriage, like I can see what you're saying. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Okay, but then that's fourteen. <laughs> that's why people talk for um ten months and they're like, What are we? If they were relationship talking, so Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. I feel like people have taken it's probably like another word for courting. I to me in that position because like you mean dating? No, court uh, talking. Yeah. Because like you're still getting to know each other. Like, she said like Fernando said that um it has to do with like dating is just you get to know each person like at the same time like that's what courting's there for too like you're getting to know the person and stuff like that and you're like trying not to like make the wrong mistake. <coughs> that's how you keep it in the courting phase before you start going into the dating phase if that makes sense so that's my own definition talking is just stupid honestly i feel like there's no point of it but at the same time you gotta do what you gotta do how do you feel about congolese people <laughs> i feel indifferent <laughs> i don't have <laughs> feeling is mutual how am i supposed to feel i don't have anything against them i feel like this is excellent <laughs> literally my friends are always being so dirty and it makes me uncomfortable like i remember when they were talking about their sexual fantasies and yesterday they were playing dirty truth or dare what should i do do i drop them i mean honestly i feel like show you know like that saying show me your friends and that's who you, you are, are i yeah. feel like that's really what it's about like if you feel like the people who you're hanging out around with or surrounding yourself don't reflect your character and how you like to live life and your morals and i feel like yes you should definitely like subtract yourself from them because at the end of the day it's gonna be a constant conflict with yourself so. but at the same time if you 
if they're really your friends, have you like vocalized how you feel to them? Like, hey, can y'all please stop? Like, can you? cause like it's not really that easy to just make new friends. Like, especially mm. when you're close with people. So like, you maybe vocalize it to them. Be like, hey, can y'all please? Like, if they make this dirty joke, you're like, okay, like stop. Like, I've already told y'all to stop. And if they persistently keep on going, then maybe you can be like, okay, like if y'all. But at, the, at the same time, you're saying like it's hard to make new friends, but at the same time, it's like you're gonna have to let go of um, certain people in your life one yep. way or another. No, I know, like, but I'm saying, like, at the same time, like, because lots of things, like, this is the thing, like, lots of friendships get ruined so easily for, like, no reason. Like, mm -hmm. you could, you have the opportunity to vocalize <coughs> your, how your, your things to your friend. Yeah. That's what your friends are there for, to help you, like, emotionally, whatever, if you're, if you're feeling any way, type of way, like, mm -hmm. that's what they're yeah, there for. You, so I like, feel like if you address it, like, several times, like, and I guess you still feel uncomfortable, then that's, you need to reevaluate, like, what you want to do in this situation now. It's really up to you. Okay. My parents are late, are making my life a living hell. I am 20 years old and now a junior in the university. They make me come back home at 11 p.m. every day and don't let me go out without their okay. I feel like I'm a grown adult now and I should have the liberty of going out whenever I deem pleasing. I want to stand out against them and put my foot down because I'm tired of this. African parents are just overbearing. What should I do? Honestly, I feel like if you're um, a junior in college, like you are an adult, but at the same time, like we all know African parents and we know that no matter what age, even if you're 30, if you're living under their roof, like you're still a child. Yeah. Like, like you honestly have no way out. Like you should, I mean, I think at the same time, you're a junior university. I mean, I mean, maybe you're commuting and that's your problem. But at the same time, like, you have to understand, like, African friends are just how they are, and you can't really change them. You, by now, you should know how to tolerate or deal with your parents. Yeah. So, like... Because when you tell them, oh, that like, you put your foot down, yeah, you that's put your the, foot out of the house. And yeah. that's the thing, that's the thing, a lot of, like, I'm hearing a lot of things, like, oh, African parents are just, did, 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 I want to overthrow them. Like, there's, like, this whole rivalry, like, mm -hmm. against African parents. Like, like that's the boost, I feel like. You should have some sort of communication, communication with, with your, your parents. parents. And I understand, like, some parents are, like, overbearing, like, they got that minds are not, but I feel like you should try to communicate with them, like, in an effective way to try to get across that you're older and maybe, like, they, like so they can't cross some boundaries or stuff like that. And just, like, have a good, like, really, like I said, have a good relationship with your parents. Know their ins and outs. Know how to talk to them because it sounds like you really don't have that. But I wish the best for you. What is y'all's opinion on scratch my back, I scratch yours? I feel like that mentality is trash because mm -hmm. you should, um, well, I don't want to speak for anybody because everybody's different, but at the same mm -hmm. time, as me personally, I can't like, I don't have to, because I just something for somebody that's not mean that they have to do it back to me or I don't, I don't really expect anything mm -hmm. in return. Like you should be able to just do stuff for your friends, whether or not. I feel like just the way I was raised, it's like, I give to give, I don't I give, give to receive. So it's like, yeah. if I'm doing something for you, like I'm doing that, like, from the entirety of my heart and I don't expect anything back and I do feel like a lot of people like that do get taken advantage of but I don't believe that's in true. that give to receive or you do something for me and I do something mm -hmm. for you because if I want to do something for you I'm going to do regardless like that's just who I am. What's up G? So on some real shit my girl been folding lately we live together in an apartment but she stays staying out and coming back home at like 3 o'clock in the morning That's not true girl. Real life sick of it and there's only so much more I can tolerate need some real spit facts on this issue <laughs> well, if you don't know where she is at at 3 a.m. in the morning, that's not your girl. She's at Mandem's crib. Hey. Him no, I'm just kidding. Oh. But, but I'm just kidding. But that's not your girl, like, gallivanting around the streets, like, and you don't know where she's at. Like, I'm not saying you have to have, like, a pinpoint or whenever you, where your girlfriend is at all time. But if it seems like she's just doing, like, whatever, like, you need to either talk to her and, like, let her know what's up. And if it still goes on like that, then that's no not bad. your girl. I mean, I feel like sometimes, like, yeah, like, let her know what's mm -hmm. going on. Vocalize how you're feeling towards her. Vocalization, communication. Mm -hmm. Communicate with your girlfriend. Tell her that you don't like what she's doing. If she, again, if she keeps on being persistent about it. That means she doesn't respect She doesn't you, respect you. Yeah, she doesn't respect how you feel. So that's a problem. You don't have to pay pay. So this guy I've been talking to for eight months now recently just told me that his parents have been arranging a wife for him in Am Amugo Imo State since 2017. I don't know why he didn't tell me this before entering a relationship with me and I'm highly confused hell. Sis, you better take your legs in, right? Is he still gonna go ahead and marry the girl? Like, uh, 
she just recently found out. So, um, maybe she's not. Maybe she's decided. Maybe she's even still from the Just this kind of stuff still happens. Honestly, in this day and like, age, if he, if okay, so his parents were planning the arranged marriage. Maybe he was against it. But if he's going ahead and he's, going and if he's about to marry this girl, um, mm-hmm. then you better get out, since I don't get yeah. it. Why are you still there? And what I don't get what your question is like. It's so I think, evident. I think, she's saying, <laughs> I think she's saying like, where should we like? Should she stay and fight for her love? I, if if okay, I'm sorry. If you talk to him and it's like, and he's still gonna go marry the girl, then I feel like that's your answer. Then you should leave. Yeah, I feel like you should take your just take your background wrong because this is not a matter of oh, fight for love, fight for love. This is the parents. The parents. Do you really want to sit down and be fighting parents over someone that has not been paid your dowry yet? I'm sorry, that's the wrong person. Someone that's very going to handle for someone to go and pay the dowry. Not really that they're paying the dowry for you. Want to go and fighting for love? Okay. My career doesn't run, sis. Anyway, the good. Let's get straight to it, please. So my ex boyfriend's cousin's friend gave me an STD, and I actually plan on ruining his life by exposing him to his fiance. <coughs> do it or don't do it. Wait, your ex boyfriend's cousin's friend. Your ex boyfriend's cousin's, cousin's friend. Why are you such? Why? What kind of web? So you fuck you three young? niggas and the STD cause of you STD. Okay. He's actually playing on ruining his life by exposing him to his fiance. So the cousin, the ex boyfriend's cousin's friend has a fiance. I mean, if you already had that motive, why are you asking us? Yeah, I was, uh, it seems like ahead. you already have your mindset on what you want to do. do. But sounds, yeah. I'm not gonna tell you to. I'm not gonna enable you to do that. Like I feel like you should tell them, but. Just tell them you don't have to expose him to the world. You could just tell them like. But you, you're going with your. Ex- I mean, but I guess cousin. that's what she meant by exposing it to the wife. She should. I feel like you should tell the wife if he has an STD. You should. Oh tell yeah, the you wife. should tell him. I was. I thought she was saying reasons. like exposing him to the like every, all that shit. Like I don't understand. I don't know why people expose people, but I feel like you should tell the wife, and that's yeah. a serious thing. An STD is a sexually that's, that's kind of foul for you. And that's her whole fiance. Like, yeah. what if he has HIV or AIDS or something exactly. like that? Like. Oh, that's something she's about to marry, so I feel like you should, you should expose him to the online. Philan, what do you use for primer, and how do you apply your foundation? Make a YouTube already, baby girl. Uh, hey. I don't know if you know But, um... Uh, huh? Okay! Anyways, um, I use um, this Remyel Stay Matte Primer. Um, and I use it like around like on my T-zone area, because I get oily there. And then around my face, like, I use this, um... I use this e.l.f. Um, hydrate, skin hydrating primer, and then um, I just basically put that under my foundation. What was the rest of the question? Uh, make a YouTube oh, how do I foundation. apply my foundation? I just, how I, I apply my foundation, I just like take whatever I use. I use um, NARS All Day Luminous. That foundation is really good and it does last all day. And I just put it in dots all over my face and I just blend it in with a... Um, a blending brush, um, a foundation brush, and then I blended it in with a um, beauty blender after. And the YouTube, we'll see, we'll see what's coming. And uh, this has been long, dude. You, you gotta make it. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe something's coming this summer. We don't know. Stay tuned. Yeah. Do y'all think that love at first sight is a myth or a fact? I've never experienced that, so I wouldn't uh, be able to talk. About love it. at first sight. I mean, like at the same time, love at first sight. I feel like it's. I feel it's like it's myth. lust. Love it. I mean, then again, no, like, first, it could be something that happened once in a blue moon, but I would never know because I've never, I've never experienced, experienced it. Yeah. But I feel like some people be thinking it's love at first sight, but it's lust on first sight. Like, I mean, yeah, I feel like it's lust to be honest because someone that you don't even know yet, you already. Know. I mean, mm-hmm. sometimes like, you can. Yeah, just, like, there are some people like that you can That's just like it. start loving them without even like. But I feel like most them. people is lust. Chris, your YouTube is growing by the minute. You finessed about 600 subs in the span of two months. In the span of two months, any tips on starting a YouTube channel? I've never reached that level to be giving tips. Oh, um, I'm mean, gonna just say that. Just say that. I just, yeah, I just started YouTube like. I feel like you just need to just start it like. Just start. Okay, that's another thing. like I okay. The thing about me is that I procrastinated on when I was gonna start YouTube. <coughs> like, I was always saying that I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it. And then I, I was playing around with it like, for like two months or something like that. I just posted one video just to see how it looked like. Like, I, it was really nothing until like, I just realized that like, I really wanna like continue. I just really want to like do it. So I just 
so I, I just stopped procrastinating so i just did it i got on it i continued doing it um it's been fun and stressful it's not easy doing let me just tell you it ain't easy i saw your fuller and john on twitter does she require assurance or does or just the love one thing thing Assurance, you already know what assurance is. <laughs> My cash app is ambitious flow with a sign on it. Show me the first step of assurance. Hey. And then we can talk some more. Blair is a scammer. Oh, hey. I'm not. How do you feel about DMV Africans? What is there about DMV? Honestly, I feel like any, any person. I feel like DMV Africans are lit. No, they're lit, but like, I feel like they're all like. Easily identify DMV African. Like, literally, if a DMV African follows me on Twitter, I'll just know, like, because they're DMV. No, no forget that even the DMV, like, just their, like, just the way they, they all, y'all all take pictures the same. Like, I don't know what it is about the sun or whatever's going on in the DMV, <laughs> but something is going on in the sun. Like, y'all just all look the same to me. What is the worst beating your parents have ever done to you? Oh, um, this is what, like, my mom kept on telling me to, like, stop doing something. Like, I was sitting in the back, my sister was sitting in the front passenger. Like, I don't remember what it is. But all I know is that we were driving on the highway, and, like, she parked on the side. Of, like, we were on our way to New Jersey, and, like, she parked <laughs> on the side and got out and went all the way to the back to me, and it started beating <laughs> over the door. <laughs> I really forgot what it was about, but all I know is she was beating me, and like that was not it. Like we thought it was over, but like when I got back home, like I went in my room and it was like like came out like for dinner time, like she was hiding. Me. <laughs> get out of there! I get out of there! Hey Chris, um, my boyfriend isn't replying to my tags. He hasn't been replying for the past few days and I feel like he's having an affair. He constantly checks his phone whenever we're together, out, dinner, etc. And he never talks to me when we're in the house. Recently, I felt neglected. Should I leave or should I keep on fighting on? What are you fighting for? That's your roommate. That's not your roommate. Hey, hey, that's your roommate for real. That's your roommate. <laughs> you ask what you ask what you ask what Like, listen, you're in an apartment and he's not talking to you. Like, and then when y'all go out, he's not like, like neglecting you. He's neglecting you and he's not replying to your text messages. That's not your, that's not, that's someone you share a lease with. Like, and obviously he doesn't care about you if he's really putting you, because like, going through all that emotional stress, physical stress. It's pretty, like that's a lot of stress is going on in that situation. So the fact that he's actually not even um, appreciating mm -hmm. you even fighting through all that. Like, what's that? Honestly, you need that to like you need to approach him and be like, so what's up? Like, do you still want to be in a relationship like, with good. me or not? So you can you can start Move your on. healing process. I don't think you stay in the same house. Me, and I, we're staying in the same house. You're not even they're not even talking to you. Not even saying anything to you. Are we squatting in the apartment? What is squatting? Squatting. What is that? Squatting like you're like you like you're paying the you're both paying the um, bills in the same room. That's your bad. <coughs> what are you want to do? What are you want to do? You ready is enough for the wife. Well, that's it for today, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching my YouTube channel. I hope y'all enjoyed this Q and A. Um, and I really hope y'all took this you take these things seriously. Like, make sure you really listen to this advice and apply it to your life. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and follow for learning on her social media platforms. I'll be sure to have them in the description box. Thank y'all so much. Bye. Right. That's a kiddo. Oh yeah.